Okay, so this is our third video in the series. Um, we started with reducing loan repayments, <coughs> excuse me, and then we went on to how much do you uh, owe, a formula to generate how much you owe after certain payments. Okay, and in this video we're going to look at actually how do you calculate the repayments. Okay, so in the previous lesson we had a formula, uh, the amount owing was principal times the interest to the power of n minus repayments times uh, effective interest to the power of n minus 1 over r minus 1. So the question is, at the end of the loan, what's the value of a? So if you need to think about it or talk with a friend, do that. But what's the value of a at the end of the loan? Okay, just pause and when you're ready, come back. At the end of the loan, a equals zero. You don't have anything left. Okay, so a equals zero. So think about that and then come across the next page. Okay, so if we've got a equals zero, so this is the formula a equals zero, and we've still got the formula on the other side, we're going to make, we're going to rearrange the formula to make q the subject. So the first thing I do is I bring this whole second part across to the other side to make it a positive. So if it's a minus on this side, when you bring it across, it'll become a plus. So I've just brought that box across the other side equals pr to the n. So again, we're trying to isolate the value of q. So the next thing I'm going to do when we're solving equations, you do opposite. So this division becomes a times, and then this times ends up being a division. So we're just doing inverse operations to isolate the q value. So the first thing I did was I multiplied by r minus 1. And then to get rid of, the, to get rid of this times, I end up with a division. And so this is a formula, OK? This is a formula to calculate the repayments to pay back the loan in a certain number of periods. Okay, that's the repayment formula. So I copy that and come across and we'll see how it's worked. Okay, so question is, uh, example, what are the monthly, okay, just make sure you understand monthly is different to yearly, to pay back 8,000 at 7.5% 7 per month, uh, interest calculated monthly. So in these questions here, like, if that says monthly, then we have to calculate the interest monthly. If that was annual, then we calculate the interest annual. And we've got five years, but again, we're talking about months. Okay, so this is a stock standard question. So the question is asking, what are the payments? So we don't know Q, we know P, the interest rate is 1 plus 7.5 over 12. And again, the reason we divide by 12 is it's because it's monthly, monthly payments. So on your calculator, that equals 1.00625. And we've got five years, but because we've got monthly payments, we've got to multiply by 12, so we've got 60 periods. Okay, so the formula uh, from the previous page, uh, we've got P times R to the N bracket, R minus one, close bracket over R to the N minus one. So it looks complicated, and it can be complicated, and what you have to do is you have to remember when you actually do it on your calculator, you've got to put that bottom in brackets, otherwise it'll stuff it up. Okay, so p first thing you do is put a bracket on the bottom and you put a times in there if you need to, and now you just use your calculator, which I'm doing right now. So 8,000 times 1.00625 to the power of 60 times 0 0.00625. And then when you press divide, you've got to use, when you press divide, you've got to open a bracket and it's 1.00625 to the power of 60 and then you minus one and you've got to close the bracket if you open a bracket you've got to close the bracket and then you press equals and hopefully you got the same answer as me 160 dollars and 30 cents so if you use an online calculator or you went to the bank and they said $8,000, 7.5%, five years, the bank will tell you you have to pay back $160.30 for 60 payments, and that'll pay you back the loan. Okay, radio. So copy that down and come across and we'll do another example. Okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. This is, again, uh, exercise 15B, I think it is, has lots of exercises like this. Okay, so you borrow $12,000 at 7.8% per annum, interest calculated monthly to be paid back over four years, um, find the principal repaid and the interest paid 
in the tenth payment. So it gets it gets complicated there because you have to work out what's happening in the tenth repayment, but you haven't worked out any repayments yet. So the first thing you have to do is you have to work out the value of a repayment. Okay. Um, so the value of the repayment Q equals P times now. 7.8% so I'll just do 1 plus 7.8 divided by 12 divided by 100 and I'm hoping I think if I haven't made a mistake 1 plus 7.8 divided by that oh, I've turned the calculator on turned it off 1 plus 7.8 So 1.0065, okay. So uh, P times 1.0065 to the power. Now, it's four years of monthly payments, so it's to the power of 48 uh, times 1.0065 minus 1 divided by 1.0065 to the 48 minus 1. So you should get your repayment uh, $291.83. Okay, that's my calculation. Okay, now in the 10th payment, we need to work out what's happening at the payment before. So after nine payments, how much do you owe? Okay, so we've got now that we've got the repayments, we can work out how much you owe after nine. So I'll just move. Sorry. So after uh, after nine payments, going back to the first formula about a uh, six five to the power of nine minus two ninety one dollars eighty three times 1.0065 to the power of 9 minus 1 over 1.0065 minus 1. So I, on my calculator, I got... So after 9 payments, you still owe $10,000. Okay. After 10 payments, how much do you owe? 1.0065 to the 10 minus 291.83 times 1.0065 to the 10 minus 1 divided by 1.005 minus 1. So after 10 payments, you owe $9,798.06. Okay. So after 9 payments, you owe that. After 10 payments, you owe that. So the difference between those, so A, A9 minus A10 equals uh, $226.67, but your repayments was $291.83. So therefore, you paid... Two twenty six sixty seven off the principal, and you paid the difference between those two numbers. You paid sixty five dollars and sixteen cents in interest. So we'll go through that again at the end. You're paying two hundred ninety one dollars. The difference between how much you owed was 226, so you've paid 226 off the principal, and the other 65 dollars was interest. Okay, so nearly a nearly a fifth of your money, nearly a fifth of your money went in interest, and the rest went in the principal. Okay, so that's in that one. So again, exercise 15b from the further maths textbook. If you're in 12 apps class, we'll give you some examples to do on that type. Okay, and then obviously you can always ask for help. Okay, that's it. Bye.